food. Food is everywhere, right from the streets to big palaces, right from a hostel room's cabinet to big restaurant buffets. Food is everywhere. But this food is actually a blessing. We all do know. It is ensuring that you get a healthy, sustainable life ahead. But this same food can also be a threatening factor. Just name it. Cardiovascular diseases, hypertension, diabetes. So many diseases are there. So it's upon you how you make healthy food choices. It's upon you that how you plate it right. Hi, I'm Dr. Swati, doctorate in food science and nutrition and working as a nutrition expert with Healthy Me. I came across so many clients before who are working outside, job constraint, time constraint. They do not have time to cook food. They are relying on outside sources. And even I come across so many people, so many clients who are staying at home, people like me, who can ensure that we are getting a healthy, proper meal, but it's not the balanced meal. So to help us out, a very renowned international organization, USDA, came up with a concept of a healthy food plate. So what this healthy food plate mean and why is it important? That makes a difference. So yes, a healthy food plate is something which will ensure that you are making healthy food choices that will ensure that you are um, ensuring to have a blissful, healthy and sustainable lifestyle ahead. So this food plate, suppose this is your food plate. This is a kind of inter-segments that we make. So half your uh, plate should always be comprising of fruits and vegetables. One fourth should comprise of whole grains, rice, wheat, millet, that all comes under whole grain section. And this one fourth is your protein. Protein sources can be from plants, like we do eat dal, dal preparations, dal based food options, and also from animal sources, like we have meat, we have um, ch uh, chicken, beef, mutton, uh, eggs, they all come under this protein section. A very essential part of this food again is dairy and water. Dairy comprises of like options are milk, cheese, buttermilk, curd. Uh, butter, they all comes under dairy section. And of course, water. It is the essential part, a basis of any life, because if you keep yourself hydrated only through water and water-based things. And then here we have another very essential component, fat. Fat is also very essential because it is ensuring that lots of nutrients are being metabolized in your body in the presence of fat. Mm -hmm. So yes, fat is also very essential part. Now, I have talked about the food groups. These are basically the food categories. But we do understand, we do know that every food group, every food category, every food in fact, comprises of a basic element, which are the nutrients. Nutrient is something that we have to focus upon. So let's talk about the food nutrients now. So there are micronutrients, there are macronutrients. Your micronutrients comprises of like vitamins and minerals. And macronutrients are basically carbohydrates, protein, fat, and fiber. So let's talk about the carbohydrate part. So this is your carbohydrate. So your carbohydrate should comprise of 55 to 65%. What does it mean? It means that 55 to 65 percent of your to, uh, calories should come from carbohydrate. 55 to 65 percent of your total calories. So if I'm having a thousand calorie diet, so around 500 to 600 should come from this carbohydrate. Similarly, we have protein. So in protein, 15 to 20 percent. So in context to protein, 15 to 20 percent of your total calories should be contributed by protein itself. And then we have uh, the next option that is your fat. Fat comprises of around uh, let's say 20 to 30 percent. So out of total calories the contribution of fat, the contribution of calorie that you get from fat is 20 to 30 percent. So yes, now we have talked about uh, carbohydrate, protein and fat in context to what percentage of calorie they are contributing. But what does this calorie mean and how is it coming? So it's very simple, just we have to keep three numerical values in our mind that will make a difference. So if I may say about carbohydrate, carbohydrate, 
So one gram of carbohydrate gives four calories. So suppose if I had like around 20 gram, uh, gram of carbs, let's imagine, okay, that I have like 20 gram of um, carbohydrate in my diet in one meal or maybe one snack or any of the food option. So 20 gram means 20 into four, that is 80 calorie. I consumed 80 calorie or 80 calorie was the amount of calorie contributed from carbohydrate. Similarly, it's the context with protein. One gram of protein gives four calorie. The similar measurements that we do not have to go ahead with that. That one gram of protein giving four calorie, that means 20 gram of protein is giving you 80 of calories. Okay? And fat. It gives the maximum amount of calories. One gram gives nine calories. So if I had 20 gram of fat, so it is giving me 180 calories. So this is the difference between calories. So yes, we came across the food categories, what proportion of food has to be there onto your plate. Then coming to more narrower term, that is your nutrients. What every nutrient means, how much calories being contributed by what uh, nutrient and how one specific nutrient is contributing uh, in what gram is contributing to what amount of calories. All right. Now, this is all very scientific. How you can actually imply onto your real life, that matters. So if you have to consider like, okay, let's assume you have to cons uh, uh, consume some 80 gram of fat, okay, or 80 gram of carbs, I must say. Uh, so are you going to make calculations that, okay, one gram of carbohydrate gives this much of calorie. So I have to consume like 800 calorie. So how much, uh, you know, how much uh, carbs will give how much of calorie and how much of food will give how much of carbs? This is all very messed up, right? So there are very many ways, you know, very many textbooks are there, handbooks are there, international and very many organizations database are there in which for every food group, for every food, for every specific and individual ingredient, you get to have an idea about the calorie contribution. Similarly, there is another way, which is very layman, which you can use on general day basis, which is your own hands. So what is like it? So according to some international organizations, again, they came up across that on everyday basis, if you want to uh, know, if you want to consider how much of specific nutrient like protein you want to uh, consume, how much fruit or vegetable you have to consume, they came up with the gestures of hands. So if I say about your palm, this palm, so every individual has to take just the amount of protein that completely fixes and completely covers the area of your palm. So that much the amount of protein you have to take. If I'll say about the uh, vegetables, let's talk about the fruits or vegetables. So it is very much equivalent to your fist. So the amount of vegetables that can get cover up according to your the thickness and diameter of your fist, that is the amount of vegetable that you should consume every day. And if I may say uh, about uh, the carbs content, then this is the thing, that your cupped hand. In your cupped hand, as much as amount of carb sources, be it your rice, your wheat, your millets, whatever the carb sources are there, how much amount fix or get into this uh, cupped hand, that much amount of carbs you have to take on everyday basis. And fat, it has to be there, but in minimal amount. So it's amount that you have to consume is being determined by the amount or the size of your thumb. So this is the size of your thumb. So this is the amount of fat you have to take on everyday basis. Okay, yes, this is about hands. But why to use this hands making measurements about, you know, ghee and oil when we can go ahead with the latest technologies? So yes, you can use your hands to download an app like Healthify Me. Healthify Me is an app where you can feed, where you can update what you have taken for your every meal, be it your breakfast, be it your lunch, be it your dinner, be it even a small peanut. How much that peanut is giving you protein, fat, carbs, fiber, and how much overall calorie can be calculated by you. So it will be easy for you to understand where you are going wrong, how you can improve it, and yes, not just in context to food, in context to water as well. That yes, you are supposed to drink like eight to 10 glasses of water, how much you've been drinking and how you can improve upon it. So yes, 
I think that's quite knowledge about how you can plate it right in context to food categories, new trends. But still, there are so many curiosities, so many questions which I definitely know might be emerging or popping up in your mind. You can comment down below for any of the questions you have in your mind so that I can help you out. And definitely, you can reach out to us, the nutrition expert, me, and lot of other so many efficient nutrition experts who are waiting with so much of glad and pleasure to help you out in clearing out your curiosities at Healthify Me. So yes, if you like this video, like it, subscribe it, and you can go ahead, ask questions. We are here to help you. Thank you.